Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech Flashpoint 0998. Guys, we have a Mirax and I want to play that thing. So with any further ado, I just wait a bunch of time until we can uh, drop again because our mechs are actually in repair at the moment. And uh, then we're gonna play the Mirax and I'm gonna have some fun with that thing. The problem that we are having right now is that there's also a financial report coming and... Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I have I, um, I have a Centurion here, Centurion AH. The thing is, um, okay, it's it's okay. I'd actually like to have that as a fallback mech in order to have um, a medium mech that I can um, use when we are playing some tonnage restricted flashpoints. However, I could also scrap it for 500,000 and that would get us into a very safe territory when it comes to the financial report. So let's see if I have to or if we just uh, sell something. Very important thing is that our people are getting out of fatigue. We have the Argo upgrade now, that's pretty good. So, 10 days. We won't be ready in 10 days, would we? Mm, it doesn't look like it. Give me a second. Maybe? No, now it's 11 days on the Shadowhawk. Mm. Catapult says 5 days. And we had the Catapult, UZL and the... The, the Cataphract. I don't think that's enough to play here. Also, I want all of my mech warriors to be on the field so that all of them get experience on the battlefield. For that reason, we have to go to the store and see if we can sell something. Let me quickly take a look at this here. There's an AC5 control system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we are we are good. Uh, bridging shot, energy. Okay, so what would we sell? Give me a second. We will sell that AC. We will sell those two auto cannons. We need, what is that, 800,000. So let's take a look at the biggest stuff. Here's an AC20 double plus. Hmm. 25% to all range brackets is actually quite nice. And an Evasion Pip Ignored is really good on an Auto Cannon 20 when you really make that uh, shot count. Uh, those um, extended or extreme, what is it called? Extended LRMs. I don't like them too much. So I'm gonna sell them. It's 130,000. Pirate Ear Medium Laser? No, I will definitely keep that. Clan Ear PPC? We will put that probably into the Mirax, no problem. A bunch of Flamers, Flamers, Fluid Gun, Rocket Launchers. Yeah, I think we are beyond Rocket Launchers. It's only 4,000, but it is something. Pirate LRMs? Same thing here. Is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them, because they are very weight efficient for the amount of missiles that you get. I mean, at some point when we get Clan Missile 15s, Clan LRM Launcher 15, that would be amazing, but not right now. So there's a part that I probably never use. We have a bunch of medium lasers lying around. And I'm looking specifically forward to going into the territory where we are uh, taking a look at the heat sinks, because I have a lot of them. A lot of them. I'm a fan uh, of machine guns, so I'm gonna keep them. MMLs, not so much. MRMs? It's a 20. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think that I'm gonna use that. We have an additional plasma cannon that I don't need. We have two already. I mean, we could put a third one into a mech. <laughs> All plasma. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, those two. Regular PPCs is probably not what I want anymore. Bunch more rocket launchers. Goodbye. And we are already on a very good path. I'll keep a bunch of small lasers around. They are nice fillers. Mm -mm -mm. And we have so many SRM6s. Get rid of some. Two plus even. There are three Thunderbolt launchers. I probably maximum have a I have probably a maximum of two in the max, so I'm gonna sell one. There's an Ultra AC5, AMS, Armored Cow. Yeah, let's get rid of that as well. And we are all set already. So we didn't even get to see the heat sinks, but I'm gonna sell some of them anyway. So those are damaged, so we can get rid of them easily. And yeah, that's four hundred seventy thousand. Actually about five hundred thousand that we have in value here. Let's sell half of them. Okay. Good. Now we can afford the next financial report. And we're gonna throw a garden party. Hell yeah, let's go. Three medical points for 30 days and uh, morale increased by two. The morale is quite important here. That's why I'm going for it. It really helps getting the resolve quick. And that's the financial report. Good. Now, do we wait for the Mirax directly? The thing is not really, not yet re repaired. I mean, both are ready now. So let's take a look at uh, what we can do with the Mirax. I mean, it is repaired, but it is not built yet. And that's the most important thing. So we have that heat-resistant armor as a quirk, basically. Um, that gives us um, more resistance against ballistic and missile attacks, and a lot of it. 25 is really, really good. And then 80 maximum heat, 20 overheat threshold. That is good. 
that is very, very good. We have a double heatsink kit, I see. Uh, there's case. Why is there a case in there? Was there something in before? I don't think that we need that case. The TTS weapons is amazing. Also, we are running a climb heat bank, so we can just go crazy on overheating. Or crazy on, uh, on big alpha strike, alpha heat. We'll go with that, because here's the weapon mount. We'll also go with uh, probably, probably this PPC. It's another 65 damage here. Yeah, let's do it. And then what? I could think about using my arrow here. Our alpha strike is at the moment pretty high already. Now, do we have ballistics? We don't have ballistics. So, 8 missiles, 12 energy. What about a combination of missile and energy? I think that's a good idea. And also, do I need the mask? I don't think so. I, I don't think that I need a mask in this. This is a long range support mech for me. Um, I keep the case, the patchwork materials, probably as well. I want the Thunderbolt, guys. Are you ready for a Thunderbolt missile? i take the arrow if I could, but I don't have ammo for that thing. So we'll do Thunderbolt 20. Bam. Which is way too much in terms of weight. But it's 100 damage, guys. I want to use that. Uh, what we need is ammo. Ammo, Thunderbolt, E-Bolt 20. Two tons of it. Mm -hmm. Go with that. Let's uh, put the patchwork in uh, here. Why not? And get the second T-Bolt in here. So this thing is case protected now. We have... What is that? Six shots with the Thunderbolt. That's not much. But it wrecks. Is that what I want? Or do we go for smaller weapons? Something like... um, Two PPCs. That's probably enough. And then uh, the SRMs. But then I would require some more speed. There's an LRM-20... It's plus two damage. That's pretty good. I'm thinking about something like this right now. So, if you're wondering what I'm contemplating here. But also do this. LRM 20. Two PPCs. Making a mixed build to maximize the kind of damage output here. And not the, the pinpoint accuracy. I think I like that idea. So, we'll take a um, hand. You can take a hand actuator, cool. Uh, although we don't necessarily need that. I think the melee accuracy and the melee damage is not that important. Especially since we have a, map, a weapon mount on the other side, which gives us minus two melee accuracy. So I'll take the lower arm for the uh, lower slot consumption here. That's the thing. Uh, I could also put the LRM in here because obviously that's the weapon mount. That's where it sits. Three accuracy with that. I like that. And now, 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 I'm thinking just about some more additional lasers. Maybe a bunch of heat sinks, and then we're good. Hmm. Oh, we go with the big gun. The only concern that I have is that we run out of ammo. We have six shots only, and then, then we are dry, and I don't like that. Six shots on the Thunderbolt is quite scary, though. Again, 100 damage. Oh, I'm so... Okay, we'll, we'll try the Thunderbolt, just to have a try once, alright? We will see how it feels. Let's do it. I need I need to check it out. Can I put that in here? It fits. Okay, okay, never mind. That's cool. That's really cool. It fits in here. That is amazing. Which means that we have two PPCs and a Thunderbolt in only one component. It's a super risky thing. If we lose that arm, end of story. And we have no weapons anymore. <laughs> but we will benefit so much from the weapon mount here. Alright, now uh, we need a bunch of heat sinks to get more 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 that's the thing i want more weapons uh, we have a cooling pod here minus five percent weapon heat generated is that being calculated into that thing already 77 give me one moment uh 75 now and 121 alpha so yes it is calculated into the overall heat dissipation which means that we need more heat sinks in order to keep the mech cold uh, it's a clan heat sink that doesn't fit. Uh, we need those here. And now we have 1.5 tons. I think it's it has to be another heat sink. Let's put it in here. Oh god, this thing looks so ridiculous. I don't think that it's kind of I don't think that it's good. 
I think the Thunderbolt, while it's nice and fun, we need that thing on an Assault Mech in order to make it work. It's just so heavy on the, at the same time. It's basically the missile AC-20. But, again, we have great accuracy here. Let's make it count. Let's make those shots count. And let's do it. I'm looking forward to play this here. It's just one more day. Alright. For that... We have perfect slots. We have... Good armor now. And we're gonna play it. The Mirax is gonna see some battlefield time. Already. Let's go. One day, two days actually. And we have the Thunderbolt. Um, as I was saying, I think going for lower, lower tonnage, but more weapon systems would be the better idea. But we will see how it plays. Alright, let's uh, see how our mech warriors look. And then we're gonna drop. Aria Maki. Maki, Maki, Maki. What are you gonna do here? I think since you have Warlord already, we're gonna go for Tactics 9. Because then, 100 damage from a single Thunderbolt missile definitely matters if it uh, finds its way to the enemy's cockpit. That's gonna be really good. Uh, Starbird, Ulysses, same here. Higher Tactics, always good. Von Cobra, uh, still waiting for getting the gunnery skill. What about Skyros? Skyros wants to be a Berserker? Yeah, I guess. Oh wait, a, th a thing that I really, really, really want is um, the following. Here's the Shadowhawk, guys. Give me one moment before we do anything else. That's a mask. That's a three-ton three ton item. And we now have access to a... Where is it? There. Clan mask. That is only two and a half tons. Which means we have now half a ton left over that we could use for some other shenanigans. For example, a UAV. Maybe. 5% more sight or sensor. AMS is uh, 1.5. A cold clan laser AMS would be amazing. That's a ton. Yeah, I think I want that. I think I want that. Plus two defense against being hit by missile attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care so much about the heat that I'm generating. Absolutely not. We could put a clan double heat sink kit in that guy. Or the proto heat sink kit. Do we? I think that's what I... Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. The double heat sink kit is already pretty good. Yeah, no, it's fine. Now, with that half ton left over, any patchwork available? Nope. What about the Beagle? Beagle is 1.5, no, C3, it's also one ton. Not really what we can do, not really what we want. Mm. Mm. We have that ballistic targeting system that we could really use. This Artemis, no, 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 Comsui, no, ECM Pirate, no, Powered Sensors. So half a ton that we need somewhere. Ah, you know what, we don't need that laser AMS, do we? Yes, we do. I think the laser AMS is doing us a better job than uh, additional armor in general. So, give me my AMS back. Go. I can put it in here to have it a bit safer. Huh. Okay, we're gonna take some front armor down. 140. It's not great, but I think this is better. Er, better error. Also, what we need to do is... Uh, Actually, and I just made up my mind, guys. It's a bit back and forth, but I need to repair that. I want that Centurion. I want to keep it. Centurions are great, Max. And the 439,000. It's gonna hurt us a little bit. Bow. Um, but it will be... I hope that it will be worth it later. Alright, now we need to go to the store again. Let's sell, I don't know, big item that we have there. And then we finally, finally bring the Mirax to the battlefield. So, oh, selling. We have so many AC-10 pluses. Patient pips ignored. Grit. Instability. I'm gonna sell those. Yep. Yep. And... Hmm. 25% to all range brackets. I like that idea. And the, the accuracy as well. That thing here. Twice disability damage dealt. Nah. Let's get rid of that. Uh, there's the arrow. I'll quickly take a look at what we have here. C3 slave unit, we have two already. And I think we will find more on the on the playthrough here. So I guess I'll sell one. Okay. And old sensors. Yeah. 40,000. And I'm gonna keep the fists around as a replacement. Artemis. 
keeping that, definitely. Bunch of hand actuators that don't really give us anything. In terms of money, of course. Melee fire control system. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so we are fine. Now, Shadowhawk, ready. Um, people, ready. Baradul, ready. Let's go, guys. Let's play the first mission. We have a very, very nice planet here. And I want to play the Three Skull Assassination mission first. Obviously, going for maximum salvage. And we bring the Marax. Now, the question is, which one do we replace? Is it the UZL? I guess so. Um, I didn't take a look at the sensors, I just realized. But I think we will, we will be fine. The fire control system here... Um, the advanced targeting computer will find its way into the Mirax, I believe. Because we have only standard sensors, standard uh, fire control system that also needs to be repaired and replaced. Alright. But again, it's a test run. We're gonna take a look at this and... I think we have everybody ready. Catapult, Shadowhawk, Catafract, Mirax. Let's go. Thunderbolt missiles, guys. Again, 100 damage. So if we get a good headshot out of those, uh, it just it just destroys, and it also destroys components. That's the cool thing. Pinpoint damage is usually the thing that you want to do over splash damage, uh, because it is just better to to get that one focused damage or that that, that that huge focus damage number on a single component. That means that you, if you're getting lucky, you rip off an arm that reduces firepower of the mech. Uh, you rope with a leg. That leg makes the mech knockdown, which means that uh, you get a pilot injury in most of the cases, which is really good for the long run, because the enemies will be less accurate and their skills will be a little bit lower. Um, and you have them on the ground for follow-up turns. Um, um, or you destroy, say, a side torso. Then you get the weapons and the cooling of the side torso and the arm. Or, if it's running uh, an XL engine, you destroy the whole mech. Whereas, if you have splash weapons, it just splashes... Splashes, splashes over all of the components, which is um, not that great. Also, you can make more headshots. You can headshots more reliable with a single big pinpoint weapon. So, that being said, there are some some ways to, or some reasons to take splash weapons because they are more accurate. They have some quirks. They they I don't know. You can boat more of them. You don't have that much weight to put like three or four or five big pinpoint weapons in the mech, then rather go for uh, lower weight, but a bit more splashy weapons. That'll get the job done as well. Let's go, guys. That's the sprinting power of the Marax, and I think I'm pretty happy with that. Acknowledged. I am. Commander. We didn't need the mask. On the move. Full speed. So, Skyros. My scout. Come on, get over here. What we need on the thing, on the Shadowhawk, is actually an active probe. I just realized. Commander. Some kind of active probe would be amazing oh, on the Hawk, Double because back. that jams the ECM on the front line. Time to earn our money. Okay, Grimalkin. Big draw. Well, nothing too scary here. Um, I wanna let them come closer, honestly. We also see a Javelin and another Quick Draw? No, a Hunchback. Okay. So, I want to use... I want to use Starbird first. Um, or Ariamaki in that regard, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we can establish line of sight and that's perfect. Uh, and we have pretty good hit chance and they are in a very bad condition. Okay, sadly our plasmas did not connect. I was really hoping for that. Um, yeah, we should everything already. Just getting the the little one out of the way. Yes, Commander. Let me quickly check something. Good to go. No, Skyros can sadly not go in and punch him yet. Uh, for that reason, I think I'm not going point blank. I'd rather set up here in the front and uh, use a lot of sprint next round so that I'm more evasive. I'll keep shooting him though. Hey, we have acid. What do you need? So, Mirax, first shot ever. I'm gonna not shoot the Thunderbolt. Oh wait, I can move, I can multi-target. Oh, I'm gonna shoot the Thunderbolt to the Hunchback already. It's 97%. Those targeting computers are doing such a great job, guys. Roger that. What we need is some kind of uh, breaching shot ability. Obviously, we have three big weapons and those need to count, even if the enemy is in cover. 
And yet again, I think I'm gonna put the Uziel down to storage and then use all the powers on that uh, to put that into the Mirax. What was that? Snub nose. Yeah, snub nose can be very, very scary. I think in my last playthrough, I lost two mechs uh, through the, the javelin with the snub nose PPC. Two. Because the snub nose PPC was just coming in with the headshot damage and killing. Okay, it's only only obstructed line of sight. So I want to shoot one PPC to the javelin already. I think the rest is enough to kill the f kill the hunchback. Hopefully, we'll see. No, but again, we have the cripple on the side also, and that's a pretty good shot there. Two jump jets destroy and sensors impaired. Yeah, we're gonna keep in mind that PPCs also do that. Good to go. So, Maki. Forward. I think I want to shoot the quick draw. I also use Warlord here. That seems a very easy mission in general. Uh, and that because specifically because I want to punch the hunchback. It's gonna become the punchback. And um, I want to start doing something on the other target already. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Maybe I can not punch the Hunchback, but the Quick Draw already? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that. And I think I'll engage from behind. Let's do it. Guys, <laughs> we need higher missions, guys. We need higher scar missions. Again, granted, the enemies were in very bad condition armor-wise. Um, but it just feels like bullying them here. What's the Hunchback gonna do? Melee? No, you don't hit that, man. You don't. I mean, it's it's good to to have a test run in a very very easy condition here. Should have used Warlord, by the way. But we have a head hit. That's gonna be super super helpful for the next initiative round. He's down to eleven. All right. Yes, Commander. Um, gonna use Warlord here now. Uh, we have something. He's knocked down. Okay. Down goes the javelin, and the engine is destroyed thanks to the falling damage. All right, I'll take it. Moving to position. Punch him. Affirmative. Yeah, do I need to say more? The double claw shadowhawk is just so amazing. I love it. All right. Mech destroyed. What do we need to do now? Uh, there is one guy up here. Is he out of bounds? No, he's on the hill. Okay. Um, so I guess what we do is now we push forward like crazy. Right, full speed. I have the feeling, I honestly have the feeling that I want to keep the Thunderbolt missile. I really do. I didn't check the heat management by the way. Hmm. How's it going? Copy that. Ah, we see him. Ah, it's a butcher, it's a vindicator. Damn. Waiting for orders. I was hoping for a real opponent here. I copy. Yeah, shoot him. <laughs> Nothing. Also, um, we can we can do uh, combo stuff again if we if I remember, because the the asset on the Shadowhawk is extremely valuable. On my way. All right. Let's see. Thunderbolt, thirty percent. Let's amplify it a little bit with the board ability. Maybe we can kill him already. But yeah, the Thunderbolt has the asset, which increases the damage by 20 percent. Receiving damage, twenty percent increase, and that with the Thunderbolt, it's 125 yep. then. That's super easy math. Uh, I think I, I don't need to do it right now. So we'll just stand and shoot. See, that's what I mean. And down he goes. I believe. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, again, it wasn't really a challenge. That was good. Uh, why do we need to, to get to the evac zone? Uh, okay. Could it be that there are reinforcements on the field that are not showing up yet? Or is that a bug? Hmm. Alright, I mean, we can go to the evac zone, no problem. It just baffles me a bit that we have to. Because usually... 
Usually the mission is over now. And and since we don't have any enemies around anymore, Sumire is actually um, she can pick us up at any point here. There are no enemies. All right. I guess we have to do it then. Just a bit of clicking here. On the move. Ready for orders. Okay. It's going full throttle. And those guys, they they need some time to get there. All right. Here we go. Um, Affirmative. Receiving and that. Let's do this. Ah, oh, come on! Let's yeah, Skyros is there already. <laughs> clicky, clicky, clicky. Here we go. And now Ulysses on the Mirax, getting into the Evex zone. Finally, man, that took some time. Successful. And the mission is successful. Perfect. Now, we don't really get good stuff out of here. I think the most valuable stuff is probably the quick draw. Or... I don't know. Would I take the Snubnose PPC? If it's available? We will see. Um, we have actually two butcher parts. Butcher. Wait, there's a pirate ATM-9? Hmm. Intriguing. Very intriguing. FCS tag. Oh, that's a fire control tag system. Also a thing that we could think of uh, to take. Pirate light PPC. No, I don't like that. Machine gun eraser. Hmm. Compact heatsink. No. Pirate ECM. No. No. Defensive gyro could be something nice. Yeah, I'll take that. I think that's a nice pickup. Double heatsink kit. Patchwork. High explosive LMG arrow. Uh, ammo. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'd like the butcher. So we have three parts now. One more and we can finish that thing. We also get the ATM, we get the machine gun array, the Snubnose PPC, as I was saying. Uh, it's a nice pickup, but um, that's not a priority for me. And then the defensive gyro, that really helps us not getting hit. Okay, so but that was the first mission. Hmm. It kind of worked out. Yeah. Uh, again, we need breaching shot, and for that reason, I think I'll take the UZL apart and put that stuff into the Mirax. And with the double PPC and and uh, Thunderbolt combination, we are all set already. So we're gonna play that thing for a while, just going full pinpoint here, and um, just gonna destroy components. That's the thing. No, so, let's do it. Let's do it. Goodbye, Uziel. It was a good time with you. So let me take a look. We need sensors and we need a fire control system. Good. Hello, Uziel. You carried me through the whole mid-game. Kind of feels bad picking you apart now. It really does. But I want that. And there's a slick suite. I think that's what I need. That's what I want. Give me one second. Ballistic fire control system double plus. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean there's this auto cannon thing. Which is actually very interesting. It gives us plus two accuracy with auto cannons. Auto cannons alone. Ballistic fire control system also applies to machine guns. So if you have a mixed build, this one here would be better. Because it applies to all of your weapons. But there's also the, the auto cannon specific one. Which is actually very, very interesting. And we're gonna take the slick suite here as well. Anything else that I need, I want, could take NSS, but we don't have the slots for that. Mm, I like that idea, though. We need to make it happen somehow. Alright. Oh, wait, no, we have the heat-resistant armor that we would override with NSS. Mm, that's not great. That's definitely not great. Enhanced imaging here. It's the cockpit mod. Ah, wait, we were put in, plucking out the, the sensors here. Never mind. Damn, damn, damn. Did we? No, it was the cockpit mod. Oh, the ordering is different. Ah, interesting. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, we will see. No, it is not. It is. Damn it. Ah. Back and forth here. <laughs> we 
we need uh da, 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 da. Give me that give me that all right here we go mirax let's go back we want definitely again the fire control system that is that is the most important thing that we get because that enables us to 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 uh, get that breaching shot ability. That is super nice. Also, we have advanced zoom. That is crazy. This thing is gonna wreck stuff. Uh, why am I not allowed to take that? Hello? That gets, uh, gets us advanced zoom as well. Also thermal vision. Uh, but why am I not allowed to do that? Clan TTS requires clan FCS. Ah, damn it! We don't have a clan targeting a uh, uh, clan fire control system for our. Where is it? TTS. Ah, that's unfortunate. We cannot use that then. That's the problem. Okay, anything in terms of uh, sensors here? Uh, 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 uh. We don't have that uh, pirate ECM, which is okay. We'll take it. Gives us a beat of something. Now, uh, back to the NSS. Um. That's a thing that I want, but I need. We have six six slots that we need. Mm, that's one. <laughs> Actually, maybe we can do it like that. It's enough already, right? What's that now? Base requires clan armor, of course. Um, hmm. Hmm. Now is NSS better? That gives us a very good two-hit penalty uh, at, at long, long ranges. And this thing wants to be at long, long ranges. 10% heat generated on top of that, though. Are we running without case? I guess. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Who? All right. So now we have 0. Um, 0. 0.75 tons available, which means we can get rid of this patchwork here, and we are all good. All right. I think this is this is better. Mhm. Mm I'll do it like that. We'll see how it plays. It might be. Wow, that's three hundred thousand again. Oh my god. Um, it might be that we are running into into problems here, heat-wise. But again, I need to check it on the field before we do it. And that's why I'm investing a little bit of money here to do some testing in order to see how it feels, how it plays, and then to make a decision. I have to have some data to uh, base my decisions on. That's very important. So let's uh, get rid of some stuff here. Fluid gun, no. Here, light PPC. Goodbye. So, of course, we are missing out on our amazing heat bank now. But, yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, but I think, ultimately, it's gonna be okay. Also, we, we're dropping a bit of a... A bit of a uh, heat management, because we dropped two heat sinks. So, eh. The pilot has to make up for it. And we have now an NSS, which also, also generates additional heat. Um, I see, we have a Bloodhound probe already. Um, I'm going specifically over here, because now we have patchwork materials available. Which I can put in here in order to get 1.5 tons. You know what weighs 1.5 tons? Oh, we have the laser AMS already. <laughs> armor! Armor weighs 1.5 tons. God, guys, I just stood up. I just <laughs> just woke up, and therefore I'm not really not really awake yet. What we can do here is uh, we have now a ton. That we could use to upgrade our SRM again to an SRM-6. Just having more options. Also more accuracy. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, perfect. It's definitely worth it. The patchwork materials take a lot of money to install. That's crazy. Alright. Again, a little bit more money to get from stuff that is lying around. This is basically my bank account here. This is my hardware bank account that I'm using. So, just if you're wondering. BSPL. Get rid of that. Good. And two pulses. X pulse. Let's go. Perfect. So, the Shadow Hawk is gonna be ready soon, and now we're gonna play the second mission of the day, which is 
Rescal battle. Sure, let's do it. We'll also get maximum salvage here. I want to get into the four skull territory now. Because I think we are... Look at that. We are four and a half skull in our lands value. That is good enough. So once more into the breach, let's see if this Mirax build does better with the NSS. And no, not better. Um, I think we have way more defensive options um, by not being hit at all. Yes, we had a 25% damage reduction on ballistic weapons. Um, or ballistic and missile weapons, impact weapons on the on the other armor that we had before. However, if we are not getting hit in the first place, if we can avoid the damage altogether, then it's way better. So I just want to see if my heat management is okay. If we can manage the heat in this, and then I will keep the NSS. If not, I think we'll go back to the the other armor. This is super important, by the way, if you want to go up against uh, the heavier missions later, because there's a lot of firepower flying around and you want to dodge all of it. Uh, obviously, we are in a polar environment, which is uh, not really the best benchmark. Good to go. Uh, we'll see. On it. We'll see. Receiving you. So Skyra's setting up here. Ah, damn it! We have line of sight already. Which means yes, I could have used the Miraxis uh, Thunderbolt to uh, destroy one of those tanks. Nah, nah, never mind. They have a real good, actually, real good evasion. Firing. Hello, Winston. Winston getting some damage. Uh huh. Can't touch this. The Shadowhawk. Yes, so, Maki. Maki going in, shooting some people. That's what we do. Uh, that is a C3 slave unit destroyed. That is a sensor lock, though. Mm hmm. Let's see if we can uh, double kill him. That's one on the Winston. And another one. I think I'll. Sh Throw the Thunderbolt over there to the Pegasus. Roger that. Double 70, not enough. That is dope. <laughs> Alright. This Thunderbolt is great. I like it. Mm. Yeah, we'll try to get direct line of sight. That's the best we can do here. The Inferno doesn't do anything against him. And you definitely want to go up here and go for the Hunter. Obviously, applying the acid, and then next round we're gonna kill them. I mean, is that all we get? Just four tanks, nothing else? No, we have reinforcements. All right. Light damage. Holding firm. Commander. Starboard. Kill. Engaging. Wow, this guy is getting shred, but he still has go. armor around. Ready for order. Oh, that is crazy. Look at that. Look at the Thunderbolt. Th that is 70% chance firing indirectly. I love that. Uh, I will, however, shoot... Let's go for an Alpha Strike. Yeah. Got it. Finally. Winston down. Move her down. That felt like he had a ridiculous amount of armor. Seriously. Got it. Commander. Uh, Maki can go over there. Sure. Let's do it. Yes, I'm there. We shoot another Winston. And Skyros is gonna kill the hunter though. I mean, it is a 70 ton tank after all. That's uh, that's a lot. Waiting for orders. Oh no, wait, that's the last Winston there. Firm. Yeah, we destroyed only two tanks. Roger. That's the third. And the Winston up there is the fourth. So it might be that we had a high roll on the tank's tonnage and therefore not getting the reinforcements here. Uh, yeah, good, goodbye, good night. Or maybe not. Is he? On the move. Should have used Warlord on the Thunderbolt missile, obviously. Yes, Commander. Can you somehow apply acid? Is that possible? No. On the move. Not possible. Orders. Maybe you can do it. You can do it as in killing him. Also using Warlord. 
No, but the structure is exposed. So that hit was completely on us. And as you can see, we actually got hit. Heat management um, in a biome that is not polar is actually pretty bad. So we have to probably build it back to some extent. Wow, this guy twisted. Look at that. We are engaging now the other side. But it's fine because we also engaged the front. We also hit the front eventually. I'm gonna stay here. I'm very, very... Um, what's it called? Sure that we're gonna kill here. Reporting. Hmm. Mission successful. Hmm. The heat is too much. We cannot bear the heat with the NSS and without the big heat bank where we where we just uh, ignore the heat and then take some cooldown turns later. No, we have to build it back. Um, again, especially if we are going to another planet later. So this here is all for getting equipment, <laughs> obviously. 50% stability damage, not really what I'm looking for. No. AMS, case, slave units, light engine. Light engines? Hmm. They're worth something. I'll take two light engines. Getting Clan XL engines would obviously be, be better, but um, a light engine is a light engine. It's a light engine. LRM Artemis ammo. I don't have that yet. I'll take that. It's more evasion ignored and increases the critical chance by 100%. And that is good. Inferno MML ammo. Hmm. Four heat. Four heat and four heat per two turns. I can see some value in that. I'll take two Artemis LRM, LRM ammo though. And... There we go. And one light engine. We also get an LRM 15. Sadly not the plus one. Uh, medium pulse, MML7, streak, streak, AMS, case, case, light engine, heat sink, and then the ER. It's extended range? Yeah. Okay. So, I would say the test run has proven quite nicely so far. I will, without rebuilding, um, I will uh, play another mission here. Because we are in a polar environment, and then I'm gonna rebuild while we are on the travel to the next planet. So, we're gonna play once more here because, again, the missions are quite easy and I want to get some stuff here. Uh, I think it's better than uh, just traveling to the next planet. We are in a, in a good uh, in good value bracket here. So, playing another mission on this planet here just to have three missions, three easy ones this episode. And for the next one, I promise you that we get a higher value target, higher skull missions there. Cool. Centurion is ready as well. That means that we can put him to the storage. We want to put them down there. Perfect. So that he's not uh, consuming any costs here. And uh, now for the next mission, which is going to be something. Defend base, battle, destroy base. I have the feeling that we could quickly destroy a base. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna negotiate for that. I want that one value pick. I want it. I need it. In my life. And we're quickly gonna destroy a base and... And then we're gonna wrap it up. So, let's see what we are up against here. It's a three skull mission. And this mission is gonna be a little bit more difficult because we not only have a full lance of something around, but we'll also have uh, the turrets. And turrets deal good damage. And they, they are quite sturdy. So, that's a lot of damage flying around on top of the other damage that is flying around. So, we have to be maybe a little bit more careful. Or we just rush it. Which isn't too bad because we can repair later on. Um, for all of you guys uh, who expect a perfect, maximizing gameplay, that's not the channel. It is not. I, I want to have some fun. I want to fiddle around with builds. I want to see what I can do on the battlefield. I like um, exploring stuff. I'm not over-optimizing stuff. And uh, I've got a lot of shit lately in the comments section where the people are like, uh, you are completely, um, I don't know, destroying our enjoyment here by uh, by forgetting stuff sometimes okay, or by everybody. not playing it as optimal Very as you could. And then I'm saying, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But then you have to either go with it or right. find yourself another channel that is covering Rogue Tech. Good to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that you're super enthusiastic about it, but uh, it's my playstyle. It's my playstyle. I'm here for my own fun as well, so... 
Copy this that. is how I enjoy video games. Just like that. And I am a person that ha has not the best Bandit. memory. It is just the way it is. Got Deal it. with it. <laughs> Alright, that being said, I still enjoy having you around. And I, I enjoy thoroughly playing the game. Yeah, we tried to destroy the hunter here. See, in a mission like that, I'm just going all in because there is nothing to be worried about. Put the Thunderbolt to the Bravo target, to the demon. 60 turn tank. What? We missed with 93%? But you can see, the combination of accuracy and pinpoint damage is amazing. I love it. Uh, Skyros can sprint. Uh oh! We are surrounded! No! Edgar, Fulcrum. Oh, Fulcrum needs to go. No, this one, this one not so much. Um, Let's kill the demon. I don't know what exactly he's running, but I expect... Double Plasma. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty happy that I have my Void system. So, a bunch of people were asking why Void and not regular ECM. Wouldn't it be better to run to the front line and then use ECM? Um, on your, the, the ECM bubble, the, the sensor scrambling uh, on, on the targets that are around you. And while you are right, yes, I also want to keep my, my Shadowhawk kind of uh, safe from something like that. So when I'm running in, and there are still people, as in the turrets in this scenario here, uh, there are still people in a, in a, a pretty far situation there, um, the void system would keep my mech alive. And that's super important. Commander? Okay, which tank do we destroy? It's this one, right? Yeah. I'll also engage from here because uh, the turrets. I want to face the turrets so that they have a low HP. Okay, it was uh, light PPCs, not plasma. What's going on? Oh, it's the fulcrum. Those hover tanks take forever to think about what they want to do. It's crazy. Hello, Fulcrum. Yeah, there's a re-attack. But it's fine. Yes, Commander. It is super good. Now, pushing, 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 pushing. Always pushing. I'll use Warlord even. Isn't that funny? 25 ton J. Edgar. And we just kill it quickly. Receiving you. Consider me there. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, that is interesting. Multi-target. Warlord. Come on. That's gonna be the Thunderbolt and that's gonna be everything else. Let's do it. Engaging multiple targets. Vehicle destroyed. And engine destroyed. Okay. Down go the vehicles. Hmm, that's not good. The sensor lock. Removing everything from my Shadowhawk. Uh, I think I'll wait. I'll just wait Push forward with Skyros and see if I can apply acid on the turrets. You want fast? Let's go with fast. a lot of ballistics or a lot of ballistics and a missile weapon. Uh, let's go with this one. Again, having the acid is quite nice here. Waiting for orders. And then we can do this. It's probably gonna be overkill, but hey. A destroyed turret is a destroyed turret. Target destroyed. 100 ton Standing turrets, by the way. Now that is crazy. Moving out. Wow. Nothing there, sadly. Maybe our Hydra can do something. Yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> that sounded like a big LBX weapon and uh, AP Gauss rifles. Or max shots, or whatever. Alright, so we have some damage on the turret already, and if we do it like that, it should be a kill. Almost 14 armor was left. Um, Need something, Chief? We'll engage the next turret already, Roger. as in here. Getting some upfront damage there, and again, applying the acid so that we can follow up with that. Double kill? Yeah, 
<laughs> Almost. I mean, that is a kill and we have the structure exposed. That means that we need like <laughs> five points of damage or something to destroy the whole turret. All right, let's go. Plasma killing. And now we have one turret left. That will probably shoot our Shadowhawk still. With a big, big gun. But we are too evasive. Standing by. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. We don't get the angle there. Can Skyro somehow punch it? Yeah, he can. The turrets are standing on the ground. Now that's perfect. That is so good. And against structure, you have, I think, a three times multiplier when you are meleeing them. But it's just ridiculous. Good. Now that means that we now move forward, destroy the building, and then we get the hell out of here. That's one. That is the second one. Let's do it. Plasma is really good because the heat damage transfers directly to um, to regular damage in buildings. Yes, Commander. Now where's the third building? Well. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Roger that. See, in a three skull mission, we don't have to be afraid at all. At all. Let's go four skull, guys. Let's hunt ourselves some heavies and assault mechs. I think, thanks to the Mirax, we are well set. That's gonna be good. Nonetheless, we're gonna take some parts here. We have one priority pick, and we have six in total, which is gonna be good. So what do I want? Pirate Heavy PPC, 90 damage. Holy cow. Recoil of two. Mmm. That's a good amount of damage. It's volatile. Hmm, that's 11 tons as well. I think that's overkill. I'm thinking about putting that onto the Mirax, but uh, the PPCs, the, um, what's it called? The, the, uh, clan PPCs. They are way better. There's an XL engine. That's just money. That's good money. I think I'll take that. I'll take the money here. Oh, we even get the PPC. <laughs> All right, game wants to tell me something. This uh, medium laser also is pretty good. Uh, it's uh, one pip ignored and one accuracy medium. Also 50% crit chance medium laser with four heat, four additional heat as a drawback. Because otherwise it would be so good. It would be too good. Um, but okay, I'll take it. We got some good salvage out of this. Pretty, pretty good. And this is why I usually go for, even in money missions, I go for that one priority pick. Because you can bump up your, your outcome by just getting that one XL engine. Or sometimes there is that one part that you were missing. For example, I don't know, the the, the third ammo bin, ammo bin for the Thunderbolt missile. That you want, that you really, really want and then you miss out on it. So I usually never go for maximum money uh, and I want that, that one pick. Because otherwise I'd be so, so frustrated if I don't get it. The next financial report is safe, we have 8 days to get it, and I think, again, in the next video, in the next episode, we are going to travel, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description, there is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!